Hello, my name is Jeff Stoffel. I'm a technology solutions professional with our Microsoft TS2 team. Today, in this session, we're going to be talking about demystifying Azure for DevTest. What we hear from our customers and from our partners is that we're looking for a way to take an application and to be able to do dev test work against it without impacting their production environment. This could be a new application they're bringing in house that they want to do some testing on before they actually deploy. It could be an existing application that needs some testing or modifications before we actually move it into production. So using the capabilities we have with Azure replication service, we are going to make a application replica of the environment of that VM. We're going to constantly update that and we're going to reserve this particular replica for disaster recovery purposes. So we're going to have multiple recovery points that we can pull from in the event of a true disaster. However, for this particular scenario, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a replica of that environment, a point in time dev test copy that we're then going to allow our developers remote access to in order to do their application testing, their dev work and validation before we actually bring that into production. Now, the benefit of this is many fold, but one key one is really that we've created a single copy from our disaster recovery environment in such a way that we're not going to impact, obviously, our production environment if something should not go as we expect within the dev test work. But we're also not impacting that disaster recovery copy that we have out there since we're doing a replica of it as well. So we're not impacting production. We're not also impacting our DR replica. As you can see, we're using Azure Site Recovery Service, one solution to cover multiple scenarios. This solution in order to create our replicas for our DR scenario. So we've got a disaster recovery environment in Azure that we can do both planned and unplanned failovers to. In addition, however, for this particular scenario that we're talking through, we're able to also create on-demand test copies in Azure of this environment so that our developers can do their dev test work against that environment without impacting the production environment and also without impacting our disaster recovery environment since this is yet another replica that they're working against. That's it on our scenario of using Azure for dev test. Thanks for watching.